morning everyone it's Karen the Geordie Grandma uh, today I want to talk to you about body lotions body moisturizers do you use them do you not use them do you use a regular one do you just use whatever you're given I think when I was younger and you probably hear me say that quite a lot when I was younger when I was younger I probably didn't use body moisturizers you got given them for Christmas and birthdays and in gift sets and the body lotion was the one thing that I never used but as I got older and obviously my skin started to get a little bit drier and particularly when you go into menopause your skin gets quite dry you start to think more about body moisturisers. So a, f a few months, well maybe about a year ago I started to su subscribe to a monthly beauty box called the Pip Box. Now I'm going to be getting one next week so I'll, I'll do a video on the Pip Box then. But in the past few months I've gotten quite a few body lotions from the pit box some sample sizes some full sizes so i thought i'd take you through five of them that i've that i've gotten and tell you what i thought the pit box um items are all cruelty free and vegan mostly vegan but they're all cruelty free so i'll take you through what i've got and let you know my thoughts so the first thing was the Walida see that we'll lead a uh, sea thorn sea thorn sea book thorn replenishing body lotion one thing I've noticed about beauty products just like going a little bit off tangent here one thing I've noticed about them is the writing is absolutely tiny I mean look at that how are you supposed to read that with not a magnifying glass I don't want to put me, me specs on because I only use them for reading so I'll be taking them on and off so I've got it written I've got it I've actually got it typed out on a piece of paper in a larger font so I can see what I'm talking about so this is the C Buckthorn replenishing body lotion this is a 20 ml sample a full size one is 200 ml and it's £18.95 for a 200 ml uh, bottle of it it's a fresh fruity and fragrant body lotion it says it helps skin back to its natural beauty balance. It contains sea buckthorn, fruit, sea buckthorn fruits and seeds, mallow extract, shea butter and gets its fruity fragrance from natural essential oils. It's only half past six in the morning and me, me teeth and me, me mouth aren't working properly yet so I'm mixing my words up but never mind. So it actually smells really nice you can smell that fruitiness it's it's got a smell of like an orangey smell to it it's quite a um a nice consistency i've used quite a lot of this so i don't know if i can actually get any out of the there uh, it's it's like a like a creamy consistency you just rub it into your arm you rub it into your whole body really not just your arm but I'm only going to rub it into my arm for the purposes of this video it goes on quite nicely it doesn't dry too quickly um it, it takes a probably takes a couple of minutes for it to sink in but it does feel quite nice on your arm um I definitely use this one again I, I do like this one I actually got a, a body wash with it as well just a sample size and so the body wash used with the, the body lotion makes your skin really soft I, I do like that one the next one is a um, it's Cougar Beauty and this is a Singapore Sling Shimmering Body Tonic now this is a full size bottle it's 100 mils um, you can't actually get this on their website anymore I had a look but you can buy it on eBay or Amazon and I think it was only 4 99 for a bottle of this on Amazon it's made with lemon pineapple and cherry infused with the shimmer to give you a radiant complexion now initially I thought again the writing's quite quite small and the font the font's a bit weird so it was difficult to read I initially thought this was for your face but it is for your body I don't know whether you could actually put it on your face as well but I haven't tried it the smell of it you can smell the um, the fruits in it you can definitely smell the fruits you need to give this a shake to see the shimmer of it so there you can see it you can see it shimmering when you when you've shook the bottle um, it, it, it is it's quite a strong smell and it's very watery because it is a, it is a tonic I'll put it on the other hand it's quite watery so I don't know if you can see that there it's 
put it in down my hand there, spread it on my arm. Goes on quite nicely, feels very soft on your skin. Don't know if there's any shimmer on there. I suppose you can, yeah, you can see a little bit of a shimmer. But it does smell quite strong. Um, I think it may be a little bit strong for my liking. Although I don't think it lingers for, for all day. So you may just smell that initially for the first half hour, hour or something. Um, I don't think I would buy that one again. Body shimmer is not really, not really something I'm looking for. But it, it is quite nice. Um, the smell's okay, although a little bit strong, like I said. And it does make your skin feel quite soft. So that was the Cougar Beauty um, body. Cougar Beauty Singapore Sling Shimmer and Body Tonic. Next up is, this is Q-Derm Moisturising Cream. And again, I think this is a travel size, sample size. It's only um, 50 mils, this, this one. You can get a, a, a large size, a normal size, 100 ml tube for 6 99 on the Q-Derm website. This one doesn't look so much like a, a pampering body, body moisturiser. This to me looks more like a one for somebody who has skin issues. Um, you know, maybe maybe a rash or something like that. It, it's the packaging makes me think that. And when you look on look on their website, it says it's made with colloidal oatmeal, whatever that is, um, a natural extract from oats which soothes and protects dry and sensitive skin. And it says it's suitable from three months, so you could use it on babies. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I said it was 6 99 for 100 mils on their website. It doesn't have a smell. It's fragrance free. There's, there is no smell to it. The cream is quite, um, it's just like a creamy, like a creamy consistency. Uh, it goes on really nicely. It soaks in well, doesn't dry too quickly. And your skin does actually feel really, really soft with this one. This is a nice cream. So it may be a good one to use on a child. And it also says it's good for people with eczema. So that one might be good if if you if that's something you're looking for. I don't think it's something I would buy for myself. I prefer more of a, a, a pampering kind of, of body moisturiser, if you know what I mean. So that's the Q-Derm. The next one I have is... Just turn my page over. The next one I have is um, Dr. Botanicals, and this is a tropical invigorating cream duo moisturizer. And this is a full size, it's a 50ml. And this is on their website, it says it's £29 for this. £29 for this moisturizer. So that, that was quite a good one to get in the pip box because you don't pay you don't even pay that much for one uh, for, for the whole box or main one product. Um Again, I thought it was a hand cream when I first looked at it. didn't think it was a body lotion. But when I checked the, the information in the box and I had a look on their website, it is a body lotion. It's made with elderflower, chamomile flower extract and tiary flower extract. Not heard of a tiary flower, but never mind, it's made from that. Protects skin from free radical damage. I'm not really sure what that means. Heals and soothes irritated and damaged skin and deeply moisturises, nourishes and purifies the skin. So that's nice. It does smell tropically. Oh, got it up my nose there. <laughs> it does smell quite tropically. Tropically? Tropical. It's got like that pineapple-y, coconut-y smell. Probably not coconut because it doesn't say it's coconut in it, but you can definitely smell tropical. It's quite a nice, um, quite nice consistency. Creamy-like. Again, I'll put it further up my arm. Rubs in quite nicely. This actually feels better rubbing in than the other ones do. It 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 definitely doesn't dry quite as fast as the other ones. Even though the other ones didn't dry quickly, this one takes a little bit longer, so you've got more more time to rub it into your skin. It does smell really nice on your skin, and this does make your skin quite soft. But because it's twenty nine pound a tube. I don't think it's something that I would buy for myself. Um, maybe it would be nice to give as a gift for somebody, um, but but it is nice. Uh, but just for the price, I probably wouldn't buy it again. But I'll drop all the links to these things below just in case you want to check them out yourself. So that was the Dr. Botanicals Tropical Invigorating Cream. 
and last but not least is the um, PHB PHB rejuvenating body lotion now I don't know whether I've seen this in Sainsbury's actually this the, the packaging looks quite familiar to us um, but anyway I got this in the pip box this I think again this is a travel sample size it is uh, I think this is a, a 50 mil I can't I can't see without my specs look at the writing man I need I need a flipping magnifying glass to see that you know when you, a lot of these products especially for 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 dry dry skin maybe they're not aimed at women over 50 but they are really good for women over 50 and as you get older your eyesight isn't it's not as good so please manufacturers make the packaging writing a little bigger so I can read it because if I'm in a, if I'm in the supermarket and I've got my specs with this I don't know what I'm picking up so this is a blend of jasmine galbanum no idea um, and botanical oils to rejuvenate skin and senses it says it reduces appearance of imperfections and increases skin elasticity firms and toned skins and it has mood enhancing essential oils now this one does to me smell the best you have to shake the bottle on this one because the the consistency of it is quite watery and it seems to separate into the oils and the cream if you don't shake it up so you must shake it first this one smells really really nice I can't quite quite pick out I, I don't really know what jasmine smells like but I suppose that's the smell that's coming through but it does smell if you again I've mentioned on another video if you've ever been to a spa for beauty treatments this is what it smells like it smells like what they would use in a spa it is a quite a see if I can get some on my finger it's quite a quite a liquidy consistency you can see that running I'm just gonna rub it into my arm this one dries quite quickly when you're rubbing it in so you may not want to put on enough to do your whole arm at once because it does dry quite quickly that that was the one thing that I wasn't keen on and and the fact that it is quite watery I like a bit of a thicker cream if I'm totally honest when I'm using a body moisturizer but this one, £14.50 for a 250 mil. that's not a bad price. Um, I don't think I would buy that again. Maybe if I got a sample size in a box in future, I would use it. It does smell really nice. I think out of all of them, I prefer the smell of that one, but I least like the consistency of it. So that's the PHB Rejuvenating Body Lotion. Um, for £14.50 for 250 mils. This is not an ad by the way, this is just me going through body moisturisers that I've gotten from the Pip Box. Also not an ad for the Pip Box. So those are my five body moisturisers. Um, did you particularly like the look of any of them? If you use a body moisturiser that you'd like to share with everybody, I'd love it if you dropped it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't give it a thumbs down just just don't give it a thumbs up um if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i'd love it if you could subscribe and if you press the little bell you'll get notifications when i upload a new video which hopefully is going to be every monday thursday and saturday so that's all for now and i'll see you later bye